Okay. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be leaning forward the whole time. My drink is uh, over there. So if I go out of shot, I'm just getting my drink. I'm not uh, passing out or falling down or. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Likely story. All right, I think we're ready. I guess I could just, I could just, I could just fucking hold it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's less awkward. Well, hello. So. <laughs> well, this is awkward. That took a while. Is it? Uh, we're kind of experimenting here today. This is Slappercast episode number 60. And this is the very first time we've had cameras trained on us. Is it really? Number 60, yeah. I've done 10 episodes so far. Yeah. I guess nine. Well. No, I guess 10. 50, 51, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, okay. I think you're supposed can count that high. Yeah. Yeah. It's One, crazy. 1, 2, 3. Let's go. <laughs> exactly. Ten. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just setting this up took me a long time. But well, you wouldn't know it. it would yeah. Be, we just for, got here. Right. <laughs> Fresh anyway. as a daisy. Uh, how you guys doing? We're, we're doing well. Mo- well, yeah, <laughs> good, good, thanks. Thanks for asking. So, yeah, we're, yeah. so we're on camera. Is this right? Is this, yeah. Is this, are we in their homes? Yeah. Well, not right now. We're, we're not going live. live. We're on my Love back what you deck did right with the now. place. We are yeah. not going live yeah. this this particular time. That's Robert. But Robert, 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 Robert Plant. Yeah. I thought I was between a firm. <laughs> this is Yolanda over here. The yucca. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Nice. If I seem especially preoccupied, it's because I'm doing camera switching at the same time. <laughs> That's all the more stuff I normally do. Wow. So, yeah. Well, it's about time you did something. This is all I want to say. <laughs> yeah, we're... Uh, so, yeah, it took literally... Chad came in here, just set this up in two minutes, and here we are. <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny. He's laughing again. I know. I listened to the last, the la- the, uh, the last uh, podcast. Yeah, just saying. laughing his ass off on that one. Yeah. He, was, he was all giggly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's the, you know, it's the heroin and the no pants. You know, and now he asked yeah. for pants. He's on camera. Yeah. Answer. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot more. Uh, well, we're not wearing pants though. No. You, you and I are not. No, absolutely not. No pants. No, pants free no, Thursday at my house. Tuesday. Tuesday, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> well, let me let me think to that. I, I think next time we should get a camera on Ringo as well. Yeah, well, he's he's all right. He's easily done. I don't have enough inputs for it yet, but we could have like an overall because in order right now, in order to get all three of us, I have to put all three pictures in one thing. It looks kind of weird. But I could have another dude. It's you know another camera for an overhead shot. It's weird time, so it'd be as weird as you want to. This is yeah. way more than I was expecting to be able to throw together today. So, <laughs> um, yeah, especially with that attitude, yeah, just threw it together. Yeah. Come on, I thought you spent time on this. <laughs> yeah, this was your homework assignment from last week. I know. Yeah. All right. Uh, so welcome. Yeah. So. uh Yeah. So what? Uh, oh, we 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 uh, we we're supposed to talk about uh. Right, the that horrible thing that happened this weekend. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Saturday night, last night, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it's gonna be Tuesday, then we're gonna make up some shit for the weekend. Cause oh, I, okay. Cause I, okay. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm lost. Um. Yeah. So we're hoping that everybody is taking this uh, quarantining, uh, this quarantine, this. Uh, stuff seriously because uh uh i've heard you know i've heard different reports you know that there's been progress made and you know yet to you know the count yet to i just want to know where these people are getting tested because i've i've i don't know anybody that's been tested you know i haven't seen any paperwork on that i haven't seen any uh you know call us if you're you know so i i just don't know where they're getting these numbers from so well, they've, the, the city announced that they're setting up stuff now. I, I'm not sure exactly if it's drive through or well, something. Yeah, I understand but I think, that, but, yeah, I'm, I'm but just, I, I, don't, I don't think they tell you where they are unless you are you fit the profile. Yeah. No, just saying, hey, guess what? We're testing at the fucking Target shopping center parking lot because then well, every cool. fucking person that would show up there. Oh, I thought you were. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Unless they we go there now. Yeah. Just want to buy some toilet paper. Hey, what, what is that? I'm just saying. That's the good reason what, to have pets. Yeah. What? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So I think I think if you fit the criteria, they tell you where to go, I and you go there. And hopefully, yeah. you don't broadcast it over the internet that hey, right, I'm going to the you know six twenty and whatever to get my get tested for this thing. That kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah, for the hysteria. Yeah, not they have like thousands of people that are panicking right now. Right, to, to go there. Yeah, right. yeah. I, I I've I've been out 
uh, daily trying to get it, trying to get some exercise and you go for a run and whatnot. Yeah. And it's lost on a lot of people how this spacing thing is supposed to happen. And there's no good time to go. Meaning there's no, there's no dead time. There's no uh, only dead time would be, I might be coming. <laughs> Uh, but there's no, there's no, there's, point, yeah. there's no, uh, there's just no quiet time to be, you know, out, you know, away from the splash zone. But you run on the trails though. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Well, again, but I, I, yeah, I, I can, the, the nice thing about the trails is you don't have to stay on the trails. There's, you know, there's embankments and, you know, there's areas that you, you can go. So you don't have to be on the place where there's 40 people walk, you know, come up, I, come up this way. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I, I walk over in the Heights. Yeah, across the highway, and there's nobody. Some people are out, but we, we, they're all. There's enough to that you just like you look at somebody, catch their eye, and you just yeah, you both go whoop. Yeah, yeah. I, I I was funny because I I I uh, I was on a uh, deserted part of the trail, and uh, uh, just yesterday, and uh, I saw saw a young lady approaching, and I I I usually will make way for for just about anybody, um, just uh. Uh, growing up in Ireland, we walked everywhere. We, you know, there was, there was, there was no such thing. I mean, insurance and cars were, petrol were so expensive. You didn't dream of having a car until you were well settled in a job and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, and I left when I was 18. So I, uh, um, public transport and we walked everywhere. So, mm. uh, but just out of etiquette, you know, you just see a woman or a woman, a child or family or whatever. You just get off the put the path and, you know, give them the right away. It was just, just what we did. Well, this, this was funny because I saw her in the distance. She's coming, she's walking, but I'm running. And I went off the, the path far enough, you know, to, to where it'd be that six feet, you know, ish, uh, yeah. ish thing. And she walked off the path on the other side. I mean, you know. No, that's uh, good though. I mean, yeah, like, no, you know, it, it definitely being is. Being aware of it is important. Good, she didn't have to scream and cry when she saw me. I mean, I was, I was just, I was just running. I was just, I mean, to scare her. She did later. Yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> she went by. Oh, thank yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, lucky. No, but it was it, it, it was that that was that was that was a moment, and then there was there was another moment where where I, it was. Uh, 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 I, I'm usually I'm, I'm I'm a much better runner than I am a driver. I've zero tolerance behind the wheel. I I'm not a, I'm not a not a nice person in the car. I'm not a nice person in general, but. I'm, it's, I'm, I'm very gracious. I think I forget you who let, No, you, you let people in when, you know, when, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of times. In, in certain circumstances. Certain, you know. In the circumstance, you know, when it's merging yeah. and stuff like that. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'll, I'll, wait, I'll wait all day. Yeah. You know, just as long as it's in turn, you know, or it's, you know, you, you always get that git that's just, that he just thinks that he's number one and he's just got to be in the, in the, and it's usually the guy that has no turn signals on the car, blinkers as they called at home. Uh, uh, indicators um and, and he just has to be number one has to be in the front and there's two thousand hours left of traffic but he's got to get in front of you and sure. the, you know the car in front. so um anyway so so my my etiquette running is a lot uh uh just 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 i'm, I'm just more alert mm. and i'm and i'm and i'm especially gracious to to uh, you know families you know, because a lot of the time they'll have a dog or they'll have a, you know, a couple of young ones and the kids, they, they've got no concept of this, you know, say yeah. it right, let them pass. And the, you know, anyway, so I was on the, I was on the, the asphalt trail, which is just a, just a small pedestrian trail. And then the, the big concrete slab is down in the, down by the bayou where all the bikes go and all. And, uh, well, there's cyclists behind me. And I understand too, that this is, a, these, these are trying times that everybody's trying to, find their niche and try, they're trying to get their exercise and do whatever. But it was at this one point of the trail where there's trees on my right. And then there's a ditch on the left and there's not much, there's not much room, but there's two cyclists coming up behind me and one lady wearing a mask, which I think is comical on a, on a, you know, in, in, in a time like this. And, and it's, they it, said it, they're useless anyway. They right? are useless. Yeah. That just, just drives me crazy is you're out there in the, th and you're, 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 you're this close to people. You're, 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 you know, seconds away from sweat flying and, you know, mm -hmm. condensation in the air that comes from, you know, <laughs> you, you know, the sway. So, uh, uh, she had the, the lady in the mask had said, <laughs> and, uh, which I, I know. Like Charlie, Brown, I'm, I'm, you know. Charlie Brown's teacher. Who? 
Charlie Brown, the cartoon guy, like oh. the cartoon. <laughs> Oh, right, 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 right. oh right, but there, that's yeah, exactly yeah. that. Yeah. Were you there? No. Okay. And uh, yes, yeah, I've seen Charlie fucking Brown. Come on. I don't know. I don't see yeah. that. Um, Give you all that shit next time. Come on. No, no, can't. it's funny. Yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah. Anyway, yeah, next, next time. Anyway. Next time. Promise. So, uh, <laughs> so I hear he, he, he knows. <laughs> Who knows? Him does. Do you, you've been <laughs> you've been holding on to me, Mister Fern. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. Yeah, Robert. And uh, anyway, so and I. You know, I'm I'm looking to my right and looking to my left. And I'm going, you fat fucker. You go around, take the ditch or take the tree, whichever you know. Get get you exactly. know, get decapitated exactly. on the, you know. The, so I'm not I'm not moving, and then uh, um, and they're not. I'm, they are going, and I mean, uh, Kanye, they're going just tiny little bit faster than I'm. Not much to to where there's going to be that awkward thing when you when when they get around. I'm going to be, you know, right behind you know. So, uh, and of course I haven't thought of all this. This is all, this is all after thought. But, uh, so by the time she get around, she mumbled something again as she goes by once there's, once there's room again. And I, you know, and I'm on the right hand side, but they're still, uh, but now I'm not moving because you, cause you're a prick. You're, you're, you know, you're yapping. And then she said something on the way, but of course then I had a choice, choice phrase oh, yes. for, uh, uh-huh. What was the choice? Oh, phrase? What was the choice? Oh, just uh, um, it. <laughs> fucking wankers. It was pretty close. Pretty yeah. close. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit darker. Nice. A little bit darker. And it was something about her size and the mask. And oh dear. Uh, well, my second favorite c word is Cabo. Oh. And my f- uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, it was okay. okay. <laughs> I see. Anyway, I was. I'm not happy. Just you know. But but then then you get to these 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 close knit areas where there's, and this is the other nice thing about this time, you know, is the streets are deserted, right? There's for the most part, yeah. but you get to these, these focal points where there's people are meeting and walking dogs and children running and, you know, just all this action is happening. And, but there's still the street, there's no cars on it. So I just take off and I go on the street and you just, you just, you, and you're gone in a flash. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. And, but they're all in that same spot. And I go, well, now you're just, you know, so, so I, I have, I've tried the morning, I've tried to go out in the morning and it's packed and you afternoon packed, evening packed. And, and of course our weather is so, as you can tell by, uh, this, this, uh, this day that you're seeing, I mean, it's just, weather is just phenomenal. I mean, it's a little warmer than it should be, but we're getting used to that. We'll take it. You know? Yeah. So yeah, it's been, and, and, and you cannot stay in the house. So, so let me guess, I guess that's my, my, uh, you know. My my Corona report, you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I crossed, you know, I crossed over forty five to go walk in the neighborhood across the way, and I, I'm just I'm still kind of staggered about how many cars are on the road. There's less cars, yes, definitely. But I was like I was saying the other day, I was like, I'm shocked at how many cars are on the road, and I'm shocked at how many cars are on the road. Meaning, like, oh, there's less cars on the road, but there's still way more than I think there needs to be. Too many, right yes. now, yeah. And I don't I don't understand. I don't know what the count is, but I'm with you. It I seems don't like think a lot to yeah. me on on 45 at least going north and south. And where they're going, I have no yeah. fucking clue. Yeah, obviously trucks are out there delivering stuff. Uh, and guy, I guess yeah. guys are still going to work as much as they can. Yeah, but still, still a lot, lot of yard work going on. I noticed a lot of yard work. Yeah. A lot of a lot of construction work is yeah. going on. I mean, the house just two blocks away. They're doing a full on wooden fence. I got six or seven guys out there. I'm just like, I noticed that the very first day of the of the uh, shelter in place or the, what they're calling it. Stay, stay safe, work, work, or stay home, work, stay safe. home, work safe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, uh, what was that? Was that Wednesday? It was just yesterday. It was the first day, first full day of it, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday. Yeah. So when, so, it, when it affect but, like midnight on Tuesday? Or midnight, like yeah, right. So I, 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 I was, I went up to my mom's house at one point because she had made some soup. She was insistent that I come, come pick up. So, and it was like a, it was like when we exchanged it, I was on her front porch and we stayed, you know, I was at one end of the porch and she was at the other. Drop the soup. Yeah. Drop the money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we talked for a while. It was good to see her. I mean, I hadn't seen her face to face in a couple of weeks because of everything, this nice. whole deal. But anyway, I, when I was, as I was driving up there and back, I noticed 
it's like super Sunday out there. Everybody in their family, their whole families are with their kids, right where the kids are walking around. I saw more pedestrians in Houston I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. was crazy. It was super it's Sunday. Not- walking, just, just summer Sunday times twi- times, times two. Oh, like Sunday, oh, oh, you yeah, see yeah, people yeah. out walking around. Yeah. This is Wednesday and like everybody's out like yeah. way more than you normally see even yeah. on a su- regular Sunday. So yeah, sorry, I made up my own word there. No, no super Sunday is a thing. It is in a- New Orleans it is. Is yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sure it is yeah. a thing somewhere, yeah. But I, I, I know what you meant. Yeah, yeah. The Sunday, everybody's out fucking off, driving slow, being retarded. Yeah. Oh, I, uh-oh. <laughs> I also remember, okay. I mentioned last week that the HEB in my mom's neighborhood, the HEB near you, uh, was had a line around for people to get in. And mine hadn't started doing that yet, but they are doing it now. I think they started on Wednesday. Because uh, people are panicking because they think that they... You, I mean, you, like I said, we said this last week or two weeks ago that you can still go to the grocery store. Yeah. Well, it, no it, one's the, saying you can't go to the grocery this store. This is only, it's not, it's not because they're, the because proximity. Capacity, they're trying to, the proximity they're, they're, to, 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 to your, oh, trying to keep people, uh, they're not, staggering the, the, the entrance. Yeah. So the, order your shit online and yeah. have it delivered or go pick it up. Yeah. Speaking of that, a fucking dad. So mom had texted me, which is weird because mom learned how to text a few months ago, which is strange. Yeah, you she, 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 got, me she, she got a smartphone for Christmas and now she texts. Yeah. And she always ends her text with like this picture of a of a fox, which I will pull up and I'll show it to the people on the screen in a minute here. But um it's just weird, like Fox with like hearts in his eyes. That's how she ends her texts. It's weird. Well, anyway, foxy lady and she's probably yeah, she's, she's she's fine. Um but um so I, I called him, she's like, Hey, uh give us a call sometime. So that was two uh that was Tuesday night. So Wednesday, I call him, and she, I'm like, hey, where's dad? She's like, he's at the store at HEB. I'm like, what the fuck? The motherfucker's 80 years old. She's like, oh, no, he wore a mask and gloves. I'm like, it doesn't matter. I, I go, can you please order to be delivered or picked up? She's like, I'm doing that right now. And so dad showed up, and I said, let me talk to him. And I said, hey, <laughs> sit down. It would be cool and make me feel better if you actually – didn't go to the store. I said, I, I dig it that you get stir crazy and you don't, you you want to leave the house. I go, but for God, please stop, stop going to the store. Well, your mother's going to, you know, get online and figure out how to order groceries. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. It would make, and I, and I told my sister that night, I texted her like, Hey, by the way, dad went to H E B today. She was just like WTF, you know, all capital <laughs> letters. So, when so anyway, Friday, you can see Friday. this. That's what my mom sends me every time <laughs> she finishes a text. Lucy? Fucking, can you see that? Yeah. It's like yeah. a, like a yeah. fox yeah. with hearts in his eyes. I'm like, okay, mom, <laughs> I'm glad you learned how to text. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, God, you know, God bless her. Cause I'm, yeah. you know, she, she still believes in that stuff. So anyway, that's funny. My mother yeah. doesn't text. She just sends me big zucchinis. And, I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, mom. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Heard that. She was, she read that somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Zucchinis mean strength. There's no <laughs> eggplants or whatever they are. There's no, there's no words. <laughs> Big old all eggplant. Right, right. Anyway. So all this stuff kind of poses a question too as, as to where and how and uh, we're going to do our next li- our live stream performance. Um, since there there's new rules now about how many people can gather outside of a house. And, um, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to do it here again like we did last time. Right. So and probably not going to do it next door. I don't know. I mean, our, my neighbors were super excited, and that night turned into something to go on bizarre. Go on. Just, just kind of kept on going and yeah. going and going, and so 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 set the scene. So we we finished the acoustic. We finished thing here with Jeff. With you Jeff, know, and, and, and we all said goodbye, and uh, and uh, my neighbors were. You were in Becky. Adamant about hanging out. You and Becky were adamant about hanging out. So we got more wine and we were drinking and drinking, drinking, drinking. And I'm making all like kinds you. of crazy tiki drinks. And, and Becky's like, you need to come and see our place. Like right now. And by then it was probably nine o'clock or so. Chad, and control yourself. This and, story's uh, nearly over. Come and, on. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> let me, uh, can you get him? Yeah. You're good. You're good. There we go. Get in there. Oh, yeah. You see somebody in the kitchen, so he goes, oh, food. Mm-hmm. So we end up drinking a lot more wine and hanging out and, and partying. And they're like, come over to the house right now. So the house, quote unquote. So we go behind the gate. And if you see, and maybe take a picture of the gate before you leave so people can see it. There's a whole compound over there. And uh, we walk in, and it's just like, 
There is stuff everywhere. Furniture, books, records. Just, I can't even explain it. So it's, it's, just, it's, it's essentially a warehouse. Right behind you. That yeah. building right behind you. Yeah, I'm just if, if you can see the, If you the, can see Patrick in the, in the picture, like the building behind him is a giant ass warehouse that is full of shit. Stuff, I guess. That makes two of Stuff. And next thing you know, we're like in their little house, which is almost just like a small, like European style kitchen. They have a bedroom and there's a weird bathroom at the back of the hall that has like a toilet and a sink in it. And yours making food and Becky's pouring more wine and it was a, kind of a blur. That's a Sunday. Yeah, that's, that's a Sunday. A, yeah. That's how you do it. They have Sunday. an Airstream trailer that has three black kitties in it. Is that code for something? Am I missing that's something? Else? They live three black kitties live in this fucking airstream back there. Children. They have their, no no, like cats. Oh cats. Not kitties, all right. kitties. Oh, all right, all right. They have their own airstream. <laughs> I didn't want to have to She's go. Like, Don't let them out. I'm like, okay. And they were super sweet, nice kitties. Yeah. But who has, what kitty do you know? What cat, you know, owns their own Airstream? I'm going to say. I'll tell you who does. The ones next door. You're Becky. You're in Becky's. You're Becky, kitties Becky, have, Becky's uh, dad's dad. Have uh, their own Airstream. <laughs> hey. so, it was bizarre. It was bizarre. Yeah. That's crazy. It's fun. Nice people. But, uh, yeah. Thank you, for, thank you for hosting our, uh, our acoustic thing. And also, thank you to everybody that, that, contributor yeah. i mean what a i was just blown away i was going through the the the, the, the it sends you an email for everybody that sent in so just the generosity mm-hmm. and the the very kind I mean, yeah. big big hearts and big you know people that we know who you are and people that you know are in the same boat as us sending us stuff we just yeah yeah my, we, just on that long-winded crap i just have to say i'm 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 moved to houston i've told this story so many times it's it's it should be a nursery rhyme, mm-hmm. but it's uh you know it's I I, I came in on the I, I came in on the uh, Friday or the Saturday and by by Monday or Tuesday that you know that 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 you know in the same span of days I had my own place and I never left and the reason why I fell in love with Houston is because of the people the people the people the people and just you know then mm-hmm. it turns out that, that we have the best food in the world and. We have a you know lot of lot of lot of space and you know mm-hmm. close to the beach and just close to lakes and stuff like that. So, but so we you know when we finished the uh, we finished the 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 show on Tuesday and I got home and I was reading through the and the notes people sending and this, people sharing the the video and and what a job Jeff did coming in and just playing his ass off and yeah. Oh, yeah. you know Great. Yeah. just. And I just even now talking about it, I'm, I'm, I'm moved that so many people tuned in and, uh, uh, we're just, just so generous and so gracious and so what, well, as, as, as they always are. We're just, we're just, I, I, I know I'm just blown away by the generosity and, you know, I've said it before, we've, we've met the greatest people that walk this planet through, through playing in this band and, you know, Sunday yeah. was ended. Yeah, you know, for hours after the stream had ended, we were still getting donations coming in. I know. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was it's awesome. That was really, really cool. So, and then, and uh, so I, I, I just, I, I, I think, you know, by this time, we'll have, by the time this airs, we'll have done it again. We'll have done the yes. acoustic thing again. Yes. And the reason why we're, we're, we're doing it a little bit different because now the, the, a little bit more stringent on the, uh, you know, we're, we're, the rules. The, yeah, the rules are we're, we're, we're taking it very, very seriously. The th- the the three of us here today are you know very very aware that 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 the the doctors know what they're talking about. And by you know, I haven't been around anybody else. Like I say that you know when when I run, it's it's a it's another it's another task. It's another workout. Just finding your own trail to get away from all these right. mm-hmm. crowds of people. But we are taking it very very seriously. We're trying to. Um, we're trying to, we're not trying to, we're going to adhere to the rules. We're going to stick, stick to a, to a thing, but we're, you know, this acoustic thing is what we're going to do for now. And then we're going to also do another, uh, I, 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 I just miss Eric's drums. I want to set up, but I want to play, I want to play electric and fast. We can. Yeah. Yeah. I want to, I want to do that. I want to do this so quickly. I, you know, we're so lucky to have the gear that we have in that the PA is great. The soundboard's great. The direct 
stuff is great. All that, there's no amplifiers. We can just get in there and just, yeah. you know, the, the addition of the in-ears, we can mm -hmm. just let it rip, just kill it, just murder some, some area. So, so we're going to bring you some new stuff. We're going to bring you some, you know, yeah, Lori, Lori is working. She she had an idea for us to play in her backyard, but house party, John Nania, house but party. There still is the same. Yeah, enrichment is the same rules as here now. But it, yeah, it, it, it doesn't matter where the rules are. We're going to stick to the. Yeah, you know the. We'll we'll figure out some way to yeah. make it legal and doable. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if it's, so, if it's the three of us and maybe one or two other people, and then we're yeah, all yeah, we're all far enough away from each other, we'll be yeah. fine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we're taking you know we're taking it seriously. You know. Uh, uh, Eric washed his hands three times after Chad came in. I don't know what that's all about. Well, you know, you know but, why. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I do know. <laughs> no, but we're you know we're, we're taking it really serious, and it's it's not going to be a it's not going to be a quick fix. We know that we're we're listening to the doctors. We're listening. To, we take it seriously. We want to see you again. We want to play for you again. Really, really, you know, as fast as we possibly can. But we're not taking. We're not doing any shortcuts. Yeah, sure. it's it's a it's a it's a big deal, yeah. and we're we want everybody healthy and happy. Yeah. And I, and I think for some people that may be a concern, but you know, us telling them that and us showing them that, that we are doing what we can to follow the rules and, and still try to bring, you know, what we can to everybody, whether it's, you know, through Facebook or Instagram or whatever, you know, I think, I think people will appreciate that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, so, I mean, we're, 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 we're set on it. We were speaking um, as uh, we were trying to set up here today for this thing. We we're talking briefly about, about the next one and, Maybe it's acoustic, maybe, but we, you know, we'd like to, in this time of, uh, it just, it just feels like, it feels like a sentence. It feels, you know, nearly like a, like a, like a, it's like a minimum security jail. Yeah. You, know, you can, you can leave, but you have to come back and yeah. Yeah. don't talk to anybody. No fraternization. Yeah. You know, kind right. of a thing. Yeah. yeah. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so all that said, I was going to talk about my, uh, my massage parlor trip, but. Mm -hmm. I can't do that legally. <laughs> and, uh, um, but the, you know, the, 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 the fact that we're taking it so seriously, the fact that we're, that we know that it's going to be, it's going to be X amount of time, but there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, uh, you're sentenced, but, but you're sentenced to inevitably, there's no magic number. Exactly. And there's no, you know, there's, you know, you just, we're, we're counting on the fact that other people are going to do, do the right thing here. Not, you know, not fuck around and do your, you know, you know, do your job at fucking guitar center or something. You know what I mean? Right. To, you know, yeah. the people that are doing the curbside service. The Am I still on? Yeah. yeah. You're good. Go you're, not, you're not on camera. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt. Don't let me distract you. I'm just, that's, <laughs> no, that's terrible. I can't believe what I you I saw what you did. Pictures. Yeah. Eric's picture is kind of dark. I've been yeah. trying to fix it this whole yeah. time. Sorry. Wait, what? I think that's dark. That's like my soul. That's your, yeah. Yeah. That's your aura. So, uh, yeah, so, so, you know, so we are taking it seriously. We're not going to cut corners. We're not going to come back before it's time. We're going to do, you know, we're going to stick this, you know, do it right. And, uh, and just knowing that, that these, these people in, in our community are doing the right thing. We're, we're trying, <laughs> I say trying, uh, this comfort food thing is getting crazy because I'm trying to, to support the local mm. restaurants and all that stuff. And, uh, and it's yeah, it's hard, man, because I the food is so good and there's so much of it and they're so you know, but I, you know, this is that's, that's this, what, we were also sorry, go ahead. I was just saying that's what people want now is the comfort. Food. I know people yeah, like I the comfort. Yeah. Gotta, eat, gotta eat my feelings. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've eaten yeah. so much ice cream in the past a week and a half. Well, cut, cut that part out. Yeah, we don't need to. <laughs> no, uh, no, I, I, I mean, the 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 people that are that are working. We, we were sorry, sorry, remind. <laughs> Um, we were talking also before we, before we got rolling today, we were talking about, so whatever day it is, whatever day, everything reopens and everything's back to normal and there's sun shining. It's just not going to be, you know, we've, we've come to the realization too, that it's just not going to be, okay, everybody run down to the continental club. We're going to do a show and it's going to be, you know, it's, you know, there's going to be the, the. Uh, as as the father of a germaphobe, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of people that are just going to wait, wait, wait. So it's it's, it's not going to come yeah. storming back, yeah. right? You know, it'll be a transition gonna, period yeah. for people so, to kind of yeah. So there's going to be a low, there's going to be a low, you know, a, a, a low slope. You know, after we flatten the curve, then we're going to have to gonna watch that low raise the curve. Yeah, wait, what? Yeah, 
Am I the only one? Every time I hear the, the expression flatten the curve, I keep thinking of Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I'm going to have to say yes. That's flattening the hills and straightening the curves. I had to look it up. I okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Yeah. I knew the Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, yeah. Straighten the, whatever it is. Sing flatten it. the hills. It's funny, the it's funny how like we all jump on so many new buzzwords like flatten the curve, the, yeah. the new normalcy, or the new normal, whatever it's called. Yeah. You know, it's just like, Okay, we'll jump on that for a while. Good. So, <laughs> no, that, I just touched my face. Is that cool? Oh, yeah. you you wash your hands. I wash. Even even Doctor Fauci is touching his face regularly now. <laughs> I've noticed that. Man, that boy. I mean, he's he's allowed. Yeah, I mean, shit he's gonna deal with fucking hell. Yeah, <laughs> touch your face, Doctor Fauci. Because everybody was making you know, there's that face palm moment he had last week that people were talking about, but he's been doing it quite a bit since. Then. <laughs> so. Yeah. I think that's where his notes are. Like, yeah, oh, there right. <laughs> yeah, that's the on switch. Yeah, okay, I'm back. Yeah. The reset You're button. Back in the room. <laughs> yeah. It was the, that first day that he was absent from the from the briefing. It was trending on Twitter. It was hashtag Where's Fauci? <laughs> Touching his face somewhere. Yeah. But he came back. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, what else you got? <laughs> Any good news? Uh, well. <laughs> I mean, seen any good movies lately? I did have that, that, that virtual doctor's appointment yesterday that I was talking about at last week. You did or did not? I did. How would it go? Is this a parental it, it guidance went really thing? Well. Do we? Do what? We like this as a parental guidance thing? Yeah. Yeah. Wash your hands, Eric. No, it was cool because this was a doctor who's a very popular doctor with whom uh, we usually, pretty much every time I go to see him, there's, there's an hour waiting in the waiting room. Oh, Dr. Phil? In. Yeah. It's about it's, to feel good. Yeah. There's always he, it always seems like he's over capacity, but people really want to be his. You know, people really want to work with him. He's so a good doctor, wait. apparently. Yeah. So you know, he's a really good doctor. Yeah. So this time, they just told me. You know, they gave me the instructions for how to sign on to the the video thing online, mm-hmm. and and uh, right when I logged on, there there they were. Just this fellow in training was there first to talk to me for a couple of minutes, and then like. Three minutes later, the doc was on on camera and so wrapped you go it up to, in less than ten minutes. Do you go to uh, UT? Uh, B, uh, Baylor College of Medicine. Okay, that's where I go. Yeah, so they have their own my chart. Have you seen my chart before? Is that that? Well, no, I, I went to I went to the UT docs, and the guy that I went to go see was super popular too. So I don't think it's the same. It was it the same doctor? Oh, it's uh, not. Probably, probably, probably not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, different, different medical school. So yeah, so that was cool. And then that later that same night. That was using Zoom, by the way. This this uh, online online meeting. It's all the service. rage these days. That's what I I, yeah. had, I didn't, hadn't even heard of it before a couple of days ago. So my doc is using it, and then later that night I had a a, a meeting with a, some old friends of mine in in, um, in Portland, Oregon, all former Houstonians. Here, all three of them are living up there on now. Zoom. On Zoom, yeah. So yeah, we, we do our lessons through School of Rock on Zoom. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. using your iPad, you're saying right? Use the iPad, yeah. yeah. Nice. Zoom is making a killing somehow. I'm not sure how they're doing it because every motherfucking person is on it. Yeah. Except for you. Oh, I was just, I was just looking because I have something it. here called Zoom on my phone. I was just looking at it. Oh, yeah. I've never. It's like, a, it's like an app. Yeah. That's where I, I that's where I saw it. Like, yeah, I, I, it's like, it's like the, it's like an app called like Google Hangout or, or what? Look at you. Motherfucker. Yeah, you do Skype. have it. It's like Skype too. Look Ta-da. at you. It's like, it's like, I, I didn't know I had it. And well, now you do. The funny thing is, too, when I saw, I bring, I bring the phone into, it's not this phone, but it was a few phones ago, and I bring it into the shop, and I stick it in the guy's face, and go, broke! <laughs> oh, and he goes, he goes, okay, and he put him, you know, and he goes through the thing, and he, he goes, where are all your apps? I said, it's a phone. He goes, I know, but you're, you've got no apps on here. I said, I know, I make phone calls. It's a phone. He looked at me, he's like, we need to talk, bro. Yeah. He goes, Okay. <laughs> Grandpa, <laughs> you know? who are you? Yeah, when I was, and it's funny. I don't have any. I still don't have any on it. You know, and it's it's when you said that, I said, I've seen that before, and I, I've never used Apparently it. Apparently, you have Zoom, and that's the only app you have. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Well, there you go. Apparently, it's it's a uh, the free version. You can only chat for forty minutes or something like that. I've that's, heard rumors that's that what my it's friend longer. Jerry was saying because he he has an account. He uses it with his clients, so he has a paid account. I've heard a rumor that because it's such a, an in demand product that they have changed the rules. Oh yeah. That's but. what Zencaster is doing now too. That the it's an online podcasting thing. There's no video involved with that, but that's what? Yeah. But that's yeah. something that podcasters can use. If we ever wanted to record without this complicated video setup mm. that I've got running here today, we could do it from our homes. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah. 
Huh. What you got there? Yeah, I'm just getting some uh, complaints from the neighbors. Are we, are we talking too loud? Okay. Too sexy. All the cameras. He was getting complaints from Eric's neighbors. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong? You all right? I just got my contact out of my eye. Uh-oh. Fucking hell. It's all right. Did, did I it can fall? still see. Did, did it fall? Who yeah. knows? I, don't I thought know. I saw it fall. Probably fell out. Probably better that way. I didn't know you wore contacts. Arr. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it gone? I think it's gone. Anyway, I guess, I guess I'll see how this eye. My good eye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Remember that, 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 uh, that time that my friend, Mr. Cleese was building a, building a bridge between the, the Mount Kilimanjaro's. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but there's, 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 uh, every day, every day. So yeah, so the, 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 this, uh, this thing is, is definitely getting on my tits now. I'm getting, getting, uh, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting pissed off with the, the stuck inside and the, of course I'm not stuck inside. I sit outside and do the, you know, work in the guard, do whatever, but it's the, it's the, it's just somebody just ripped the plug out of the wall and everything just shut down. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a challenge to kind yeah. of sit still, you yeah. know. So, yeah. yeah, so we need to, we need to, uh, we need to keep, you know, keep the new stuff coming and I was t- also talking about before, we, before we started rolling today, talking about new, new versions of these songs that we're, kind of, kind of, you know, because we, we, we were saying that uh, when Eric joined, we threw 50, 60 songs at him and just said, hey, just good luck. And we didn't, you know, we didn't, we, we, like, we, you know, with Mike, we were surgical about how we were going to do each, you know, each verse, each, you know. So we had little twiddly dees and fiddly dies and skilly dums and all this stuff throughout. Mm-hmm. We didn't do that. We just go, go, go. And then we were on stage, go, yeah, keep that. And mm-hmm. No, 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 not <laughs> that. Yeah, 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 more of that, more of that. And in, 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 in that regard, we're kind of looking at these uh these songs that we've you know essentially tortured for years and we're gonna you know <laughs> just you know re you know you know in, in, inject a new you know middle life into them and you know also play to play to your strengths and your you know just uh, so that's 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 been very exciting for me as a being <coughs> excuse me is being able to uh throw those ideas around and different, you know, different, uh, different textures on these. On these yeah. On no, these. it's always yeah. good to have a challenge and yeah. make them uh, more exciting for you guys. Cause you've played them for yeah. so long now. Yeah. And also, you know, when, when that, when that glorious day hits and we're able to take a stage somewhere and just unleash all this, you know, it'd be really nice to come out with, you know, stuff that's, you know, it's new. Just, just, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not just a new coat of paint, maybe a whole, you know, new frame, new, yeah. you know, new engine, new, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, but it, but that's, that's been, that's been nice. And, you know, of course, there's, there's so much to do. There's so much housework that needs to be done that never gets done. And, you know, people are saying that they're doing that and people are eating at home and discovering it. Hey, you live here? <laughs> oh, well, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can make this work. You know, it's a, it's a, yeah, very, very strange right. time. And I'm, yeah, there's, there's going to be good things that come out of this. And uh, I think we touched on this a little bit last week, but the fact that we're being kind of forced to turn to doing things like this now, where these, these are all things that we've talked about, like, yeah, it'd be cool if we did video at some point, but now it's like, let's go ahead and try it now yeah, why yeah. because, yeah. you know, there's nothing else going on. And, uh, the fact that, you know, my doc- doctor's appointments are all going virtual if they can. You know, I, I talked about that on Facebook last night and, and some people chimed in, you know, obviously they can't all be virtual because, you know, dermatologists, you can't, hey, what about this? Hey, what's you know? this thing? You know, that's not really going to work. <laughs> well, yeah. but I think I'm going to start a new practice. But if there's, yeah. especially with this, this particular doctor, a lot of the times I'm there, it's maybe, maybe once a year or maybe once every couple of years, they'll want to do a physical, physical exam while I'm there. But that's rare. 
So most of the time, for like that, there's no point in me going there and wasting two hours waiting, exactly. yeah. wasting gas, wasting parking ticket money, or parking money, parking whatever. Not a not a parking ticket. You, yeah, you know hopefully not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. that's park. And it, you know, and then it's it, that reduces emissions. There's all kinds of pluses about that. You know, reduces traffic and all this stuff. And it just seems like I'm, I'm hope I'm really hopeful that once we get through this, we will kind of embrace the digital side and the online side of things more to the extent that we, that we can, um, you know, and I do think that there's, there's a really good thing about uh, a really good side to all this live streaming music too. I know it's gets annoying to a certain extent because everybody's doing it now, but it's clearly, we've known it for, for a couple of years. We've been doing live streams on Facebook. It's very popular, yeah. the, especially with our fans who don't live here or, or they're unable to come out because they're babysitting or they, you know, whatever the reason is. Incarcerated. So it's, it's, Dead. we've, we've known it was, Dead. we know it was a good thing for a while, but now it's like really kind of showing its worth now. Yeah. So it's, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Can be. It's a good thing. Can be. Um, and I, what I'm hopeful too, is that a lot of these venues, uh, there's a band called, uh, Heartburn that did a show on, uh, was it Saturday night? Well, clearly, we we were home. We didn't, we're, it was the band was not playing that night because there were no gigs. Uh, Heartburn is a Talking Heads uh, cover band that I'd heard things good things about for years, but I've never been able to go to see them play because you know we were always busy. And uh, they were doing a live stream show from a place called Purple B or something like that in Austin. It's a, I think it's a recording studio, but they had what's it called? Purple B is that does that sound familiar? I don't know. Uh, it's purple. It's purple something. But they have this really, really nice live stream set up in, in, uh, in the studio. I think it's a recording studio that they have. And they just okay. started it in February. So this was episode nine of the series that they're doing. It's really great production value, multiple camera setup, great sound. And they were taking donations while this is going on. What I would like to see, I wish there was a way to, to get all these music, like the Continental Club should have this, you know, for example, uh, some kind of thing where they could still have concerts like that, you know, but it's virtual. You know, and people can still turn and they still pay a ticket, pay a ticket fee to, to be able to watch the show. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That, you know, I'm sure people are trying to figure that out right now. If, if it seems like this Purple Bee place, whatever, whatever it's called, <laughs> they had it figured out before they, this even started. So. Purple Neat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, anyway. Have you heard of Heartburn before? Have you heard of that band? Nope. Yeah. It's a weird name for a band. I don't know. Is yeah. it a song or something? Heart burn, burn spelled like oh, David burn. Byrne. Yeah. Oh, burn. B Y R N E. Like I heart burn. Like you, like you, like you, like your underwear say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I heart burn. I get it now. Yeah, yeah. it's clever. I guess they were good too. And I, I, I've seen a lot of cover bands. You know, and we Tribute. usually, huh? Too bad. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They weren't really a tribute band. I, and, I, I don't know. I still don't know the difference. Nor do I care. Well, I right, okay. let's just say. I guess it depends on who you talk to, right? But let's just say tribute is where they're trying to recreate the actual stage show of the original band. Okay, and look like them. The lead singer is acting like the lead singer, dressing like the lead singer, and the drummer is acting like the drummer in the band, and whatever. Okay. Okay. So these guys aren't a tribute band. They play the music. He does some of the, you know, the head gestures and stuff, but he doesn't do all of them. You know, he, he Dude, if you're going to do that, go all in. Yeah. No, Come on. What the fuck? So I, Get no. the jacket. <laughs> he, but they don't do that. They, they wear their own outfits. They got a girl they, bass player? No, they don't. Well, then it's a cover band. Yeah, it's a cover band. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So that's, now I get it. And yeah. the, yeah. the cover band, yeah, the, the bass player is not making any effort to look like the Ian Weymouth. <laughs> So it's, it's, no, it's, it's cool. And they, not only do they play the songs, they, they play them respectfully, but th- th- they're, they're close enough to the original arrangements that it's not like, what are you doing? But right. they also kind of let the music take them elsewhere, which is, which I would prefer, you know, if you're trying to just recreate the songs, I mean, that's, why not just listen to a jukebox or something? Cover right. or tribute, so. the band has to be dead or gone. That's just, that's my, hey, right. Easy, so it's a easy, show you can't easy. go see anymore. Okay. We, yeah. we, you know, we, you know, the high roller over here, you know, the cheat trick cover band I had. They Still were good. have? They were good. Uh, <laughs> we're on hiatus because of the blackguards. <sighs> Again. So. It's not a bad thing. Just because, you know, our schedule was so full and busy that, you know, I couldn't really schedule a time for us to play anymore. So, so we're on, we're on hiatus. The hiatus. Hi- <laughs> high roller. <laughs> the hiatus. Hi, anus. <laughs> it's a giraffe. Whoa. <laughs> I'll stand over here now. I, okay. I've seen some tribute bands who actually do the full tribute. 
like like you say, it was was for a band that doesn't exist anymore. Well, at least not in that form. It was a, a band called uh, Musical Box who was recreating what Genesis used to do. Cattle back Box. At, back in the early no, back at what Genesis used to do back in the early seventies. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oops. <laughs> and that was pretty stunning. That was pretty amazing. Yeah, but Thanks. what 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 audience is that though? A lot of really geeky yeah, looking dudes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some Genesis yeah. stuff can be really difficult listening hour. Well, for Genesis, you mean? Yeah. Just, oh, yeah. Well, that's for yeah. you know, you know prog prog fans. That's what oh, they yeah. want. Yeah. When I when I the first time I went to go see these guys was in New York at Irving Plaza, and uh, all the guy there are a lot of guys who kind of look like uh, kind of look like uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Teddy Lee. Steve. You know, the guy the guy from uh, from Ghostbusters who died. Oh. Uh, uh, Harold Ramis. Harold Ramis, yeah. A bunch of guys that kind of look like Harold Ramis. You know, Fair enough. Sweaters, the glasses, and the kind of nerdy yeah. haircuts and yeah. stuff. And yeah. one of them was standing right in front of me. It was right when the first song started. Play amazing sound, right? He he literally faints. <laughs> what <laughs> like, the fuck? He kind of slumps. And everybody's like, are you okay? He's like, yeah, yeah I'm fine. <laughs> it was just a little bit too excited. <laughs> too much wow. excitement for him. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was really... He knows it's not Genesis, <gasps> right? <laughs> you shit. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, this is the part where I have a really hard time holding my tongue. But I mean, I, f- I fainted giving blood the first time, but that's because I didn't eat lunch. <laughs> so I, I, I see where he's coming from. Yeah. 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 I saw him a second time. They came to Houston, Houston uh, at uh, House of Blues, where they were recreating The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway Whew. in its entirety. That was impressive, too. There weren't nearly enough people there, though, in Houston. New well, York show was packed. kind of explains the whole... Ta-da. Attraction of yeah, early Genesis. What? No one likes them. That's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no girls like them. Yeah, mm, yeah, kind of yeah, true. Yeah, come on, <laughs> kind of true. We're getting, we're getting. Once the once the once the scab is completely off, you'll you'll, you'll we'll, we'll we'll all be in agreement. The only reason but, to join a band is to get chicks. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the only like, thing I've ever agreed like Gene with. Simmons. At what uh, Gene Simmons said. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only one thing that I've ever, the Gene Simmons ever said. I was like, oh, well, he, he probably, kind of true. That's kind of right. Yeah. It's kind of true. Yeah. And yeah. Bruce Dickinson said, said the complete opposite. He said, he said, he's never, never known that to be true. He said, well, they, they, I mean, yeah, they've yeah. always just. Iron Maiden's a tough sell to any, any yeah. woman. Yeah. Yeah. Not now. Though. Not that they're not great. Yeah. No, no, no. But yeah, but not now in, in that their audience is 50, 50 now. It's yeah. crazy. Well, it's, yeah. I just saw that five months ago, the, 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 or the, the yeah, it was about five months ago. It was the the Legacy of the Beast, and it was the the audience was fifty fifty in yeah. real. Yeah, I, I was like, how is that? Yeah, and they're all young. They're all yeah, yeah. yeah. So very very cool. But yeah. Uh, yeah, the 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 tribute thing, the the cover band, cover band. Yes, go for it. Tribute band. Make sure they're. Doing. It's a it's a it, big commitment. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a huge commitment. And and, yeah. and, and, and and as musicians, so so let's say let's say you go to the to 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 the tip top and you're going to do something like Rush. You're going to do, you, you know, you're going to do something that's going to be really challenging on every instrument, and add some, you know, because Geddy Lee will play bass and you know he played the the keys with his feet and whatnot. Sure, mm-hmm. and and then of course Neil Peart, who I believe is a- average. Uh, again, I'm not a Rush fan, but I mean, if you're average, gonna t- average at best, yeah, 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 on a good day, yeah, yeah. We agree, we agree, with something. Yeah. But you know, when you're gonna go, when you're gonna go that, that you know, all out, and you're gonna look the same, wear the same clothes, same gear, same gear, you know, you, <laughs> and then uh, you're gonna go, you know, and do a, a, a you know, a, a snippet in time, you know, a, you know, cut a piece of time out and recreate that. Yeah, that's that's a huge commitment, but. Then you're gonna have wankers like these, you know these, you know these guitar center heroes, you know that go in and they, no, no, that's not that's not the, you know, it just drives me crazy. You gotta, you, even even at the tribute level, even at the tr- the 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 cover level, you gotta you gotta bring a little bit something of your own. Does that make sense? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. You know, well, I was also think too, like if you're going to go ahead and do that, why don't you just start your own fucking band? That's if, 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 you're, if you're that good. And that's kind of the reason why we did the high roller was because, um, you know, it, you know we, we were all in many other bands. And so this was kind of a fun way for us to kind of get together and have fun. Yeah. And, and play some fun songs that we wouldn't normally play 
in another band and, and play all cheap trick songs. I was, I was a huge, I'm a, I'm a huge, uh, cheap trick fan and still love those guys. And, 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 uh, you know, Thomas pulled me aside at the, they had a Super Bowl party at the mid main loss before they were built. Cause you know, they had the Super Bowl here a couple of years yeah. ago and he's like, I got a great idea. I'm like, what is it? I'm like cheap trick cover band. I'm like, I'm all in. I want to do that. <clears throat> and, uh, I said, you should sing. And he's like, yeah, and I'll play drums. He's like, yeah, because that's the only thing I can do. And so the very next day, I called a bunch of friends, and I called Thomas. I'm like, hey, man, I got our band together. He was like, what band? <laughs> We've been drinking pretty hard that night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Cheat Trick cover band you talked about. What? Oh, what? I'm like, yeah. yeah, it's gonna happen. Your idea. We got this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. He's like, oh, great, fun. So, and for us, it was a way to kind of let off steam or just to have fun and just to kind of rock out with our socks out, kind of a deal, you know. In addition to all the, because he's in Xana Dudes, and I was doing Alan Oldie's band and whatever other band I was involved with, you know, and and Brent, my buddy Brent from Austin was playing in a bunch of groups up there, so it was just kind of a fun way for us to get together. For us, it was fun. It wasn't like it was a lifestyle choice. Yeah. It was just like let's have fun, let's play the best of our ability, and we know that we'll do this once every couple months, and we'll go back to our regular gigs and have fun with that too. And there are other bands that kind of showed up on our scene that that's all they did was whatever cover band that was. And we're just like, this is just for fun for us. Yeah. And we would fucking kill it every single time. And they're up there like struggling to kind of play through their, whatever song it happened to be. So, yeah, that's but what, that's what, I it's, guess just, it's, it's a mindset. And it's just like, you know, like if, if you're going to do that, be whatever band cover band, do it well. Yeah. And what, if you're not going to do that well, then what's the fucking point? Yeah, and we I believe we've t spoke about this before and it really should never be mentioned and I'm a gobshite for saying it. But I, I was talked into slash uh, agreed to sort of doing this U2 thing one time at the Slauncha, which is now Molly's downtown and un completely unaware. And I mean 100% unaware of what the name U2 meant to, 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 to regular music listeners. So put the thing out. They did a little bit of advertising. I mean, a little bit of advertisement. They didn't do anything big except fuck up. You know, <laughs> that was the only thing Slotcha was good at. It was just, you know. And uh, we had calls from Dallas. We had calls from Oklahoma. We had calls from, you know, Arkansas. And man, you know, people were coming to see a, a, a show. I said, like, no, 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 no. This is not a, this is not a U2. This is a, this is a, a U2 playing like power chords and, you know, squealy, you know, you know, just rocket, you know, like heavy, right. You know, riff oriented versus note, you know, twiddly echoey, you know, edgy, you know, glistening crap. You, you wanking, wanking, yeah. wanking. Yeah. There's none of that. This is just power core, you know, and kind of the, kind of, the, you know, that, that, that straight, but it's, you know, anybody that's in a tribute band or anybody that's in would have said, no, 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 you know, but I mean, yeah, 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 there's no, right, yeah. you yeah. know, there's zero, uh, tribute. This is kind of like a couple, but at the same, and, uh, you know, under rehearsed, under prepared, under, uh, I sound awful, but that's, you know, of course I was, I'd formed, you know, a few bands before that and this one and just, it made me realize that no, I, I, I never want to learn how another person plays you know i never want to learn that well this is their style this is how they do it and this is their technique and this is if you, if you want to be good like them you have to do i want to do i want to play what what it, w, w, the, i want to play what i feel right yeah and well i think that's really important in the beginning when you're first learning that's how you learn right it's by mimicking other people right but if yeah. you're but if you're in a band and it depends on where where you where you're starting from I guess but you think about all the the really great bands that started this whole thing back in the you know late fifties early sixties and stuff they you know Beatles Rolling Stones uh, they, they were heard of, they covered shit they were cover bands yeah. yeah that's what they did but, but they found their own way but that wasn't even a term back then wasn't it cover bands because that was just a band they they were doing that because. They wanted to be on stage. They wanted to do, that's what they love. They wanted to be on stage. Sure. There was never an issue of like, let's play this song exactly the way the Shirelles do it or, the, or you know, right. or Elvis does it. Yeah. They would pay tribute. I mean, they do. You can hear the influence. In I the mean, way the covers that, you know, the, the Beatles, they were fairly, you know, uh, what's the word I want? Uh, uh, 
prolific? Reverent? No, they were reverent. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. they, they, they paid they paid an homage yeah. to the the, the artist, but yeah, but they always put their, their own version. spin. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes I sometimes, sometimes a little better. They're better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. yeah, sometimes. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, their, their version of money is fucking killer. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, Je- I think it's George better. Harrison early on was definitely aping a lot of Carl Perkins riffs and things like yeah, that. I mean, that's what, that was his and idol. John's yeah. doing. Chuck Berry, they all were, you know, yeah. but, but they always moved it into a different direction. So yeah. uh, that would be my thing. It's like, yeah, it's one thing if you want to, it's that sometimes I guess the people who do the, how the tribute bands, like the Genesis guys, they were really, really passionate about that music and say, well, this is the only way we can actually play this stuff. Yeah. Let's do it and, like that, this. and that's fine, I guess. But, but at, at, at the end of the day, it's like, depends on where you're going. What right? else can you play? Right. What else do you want to right. play? What else can you, can you, can you play a Chuck Berry song? You know, can you play any song that's not a Genesis song? You know? Right. And I think, I think sometimes like a lot of, it seems like a lot of cover bands that I see now, all we do is play ACDC. All we do is play queen. All we do is play this or that. And they can't do anything else because they spent their life just learning the chord progression to that song and the guitar solo to that song. And can they improvise on their own? They probably can't. We're getting too dark here. Yeah. Can we turn that light on? I guess. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we need it. I don't, I, I don't know good. which one it is. I think it's the, I think it's the one that's closest to me. It's starting to get a little dark. I remember. I think it's good. Can you reach it? I think it's. Yeah, I think it's that one. Find out. Oh, so close. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh yeah. Gra- oh, grab it. Pull it. Uh, pull it hard. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a hand? Another. We're fucked. Yeah. I can't do it. I'm gonna knock the camera over. All right. Come on, Patrick. Come on. You're the soberest one here. <laughs> or maybe someone closest to Chad. I can't remember. So find out. Find out. Uh, 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 there you go. Yeah. There oh, we oh, go. God, Lord. Okay. Oof. Shocking. Wow, suddenly you can see Eric. <laughs> I can see Eric. I don't need to be seen. All right. Better, 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 better heard than seen. Should have turned wait, that wait, on. You, you, know, you, said, uh, you, said, you said the magic word. And that's Queen. And nobody, I don't care who you are, just don't, just don't, don't pay tribute to that band. Don't do it. Even Queen, there's a there's a not, uh, Queen not, shouldn't pay tribute. Yeah, not Queen. now. They yeah. shouldn't. They yeah. absolutely shouldn't. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. There's there's a local <laughs> there's a local band there's a local band that uh, that uh, that uh, we've nameless. done it we've done a gig with before and uh, they're terrible. You a Queen tribute band? Yeah. Queen tribute band. It was, it, was, it was my band. Sorry, Patrick. Good the high roller, the teacher cover band, this I queen band, this and then uh, then a uh, Joan Jett uh, cover band. The Joan Jett band was pretty good. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. The, uh, the singer was super like, woo! The band was just like, it's kind of going through the paces. Yeah. Not very exciting. But, uh, well, I, 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 you know, like I said before, I, I speak out of turn often, so I'm good at it. But, you know, I the, the, the band has to be gone. You know, that's the tribute to, to me. The tribute band should not be exist unless the band that they're paying tribute to is gone. That's just how I feel, right? The cover band, go for it, right? Do whatever you want. Fine. And, uh, but there's a line that you, that, that you, you, you just, you just, you're not going to get a Freddie Mercury. No, you just not. It's just not yeah. going to happen. Yeah. I don't care. I've seen yeah. the video of that guy that sounds just like him. I go, yeah, but it's not the same. It's not the same, and it's not. And the other thing is too is John Deacon. He, it, uh, he was he to me. He was as essential as Freddie in that band. Yeah, they I all, mean, they all I, were. They, they, they all. It, yeah. de- definitely, definitely. You know. Yes. Yeah. Def- and that's that's I the mean, quartet. I mean, that's just yeah, yeah. I mean, again like the Beatles. You remove one, you don't that's have it. a band. Yeah. yeah. And we we saw them. We saw them with uh, it was Roger and uh, Brian and uh, that kid Adam Lambert singing, and it, and and they had like so and so so and so playing bass. Yeah. And the band was huge, and they had a bunch of guys in the band. It sounded great. The kids sang the songs great. It was a fun show. It was fun to be there. But you know, it's you know that if it was. Just those four guys on yeah. stage, it would have been electrifying. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yes. Watch that's, that fucking Live Aid show. Yes. I mean, watch I mean, that. If you want to see what Queen was like, watch that show. Yeah, yeah. You'll lose your shit if yeah. you haven't seen that show before. Yeah, yeah. Queen at Live Aid fucking yeah. destroyed every live show 
since then. And you think, uh, would you say like uh, for a band that kind of did it, did it right for transitioning from, from one member or one lead singer to the next? Uh, Foreigner. Foreigner. I'm kidding. I don't know nothing about it. Yeah, they're terrible. I, yeah, they're I, awful. Little, I didn't even know they had a different lead singer. Oh my God. They're, they've got no one in that band is, uh, is ever uh, the same? except for the guitar player who I think is now sick. Well, I was going to say, wh- what about Black Sabbath? Was that going, going to, uh, going to Jay, to, go, to go, Dio? Going to Ronnie Dio was, was different enough to get on some people's nerves. Yeah. But the addition of, you know, uh, Vinnie Apice, uh, kind of changed the, 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 the floor, if you will, you know, it kind of moved everything to a new location to, mm-hmm. to, for, for me, musically, Vinnie Apice is, we talked about him just this very night sure. before we rolled cameras. We talk about him like every day we get. Yeah. <laughs> and, but it's funny, you Love know, you, you know, it, it, it's imagine, imagine, uh, imagine, you know, one of those carnival cruise ships. That's kind of relevant today. But imagine one of those <laughs> carnival cruise ships just, you know, just sat on your house. You know, it was just dropped on your house. Yeah. There's kind of nothing else going. That's how Vinnie Apice plays to me. Yeah. He's just the, the, he's such a, he's just so solid and he's, his, his fills are so personalized. They're, they're, he wrote them and he just, and I don't know anybody can play them, you know, like that. To where I can hear him and I hear his drum sound and I hear, so it's that kind of sludgy, but, but then you come from Bill Ward who, and I know, sorry that we went from lead singer to that, but that's, but, just, but, just, just, just well, relevant, it's, yeah. it's kind of a, you know, when, when Ronnie, they did one, they did the heaven hell record with Bill on drums and, and somebody said, Oh no, that's Vinny on drums. And I was like, hell no, because if it was Vinny on drums, it would sound completely different. It sounds like Bill and, and Bill was playing kind of way inside on that, on that record. Mm-hmm. Um, Bill's playing is a little bit more swingy because he's a British guy and he comes from that same school of like the Ginger Bakers and the, right. and, and uh, a little um, sloppy too little k- k- kind of just kind of like gonna yeah, make it definitely I, I'm gonna make it to beat one I think you know yes. kind of a thing and we'll get, we'll get there he was kind of really heavily behind the beat too wasn't he like like I, I've heard people describe that that was part of what made the early Sabbath sound so distinct was him kind of yeah, I mean it was kind of he, he was kind of weighing it down. Yeah, you know, kind of kind of leaning back a little bit. Yeah, and 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 Vinny's drumming is just more. It's not necessarily on top of the beat, but it's definitely, um, like there's no question of where one is. Yeah, yeah. You know, no matter what he plays, there's no question of where beat one is going to land. Even after the craziest big old triplet fill or big hand to foot thing he would do, because he had a lot more drums too when he when he went in the studio and. But, you know, that was a, a big transition shift. I mean, Ronnie came in and, and did that Heaven and Hell record, and Bill was on it, and then Bill left halfway through that tour. Like, they were on tour with Heaven and, on the Heaven and Hell record tour, and Bill got sick and said, I, I, don't, I, I can't do it anymore. And then they called in, they called in Vinny because somebody knew him from somewhere. I forget yeah. where, where the situation was exactly. And um, I think we talked about that, like, the first time. He, yeah. had, he had that book, and he wrote the, all the charts out, and he got rained on, and he just threw it away. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then yeah. they did that Mob Rules record, and the very first thing you hear on that record is pss, 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 pss. Yeah. And that half open hi hat sound counting the song, and it's like, oh, oh shit, here we it's go. about to go down. Yeah, yeah. And then that, that whole record is that whole record is great. And then Live Evil, and then they went got back together in '92, and then they formed the band called Heaven and Hell mm-hmm. in the 2000s. And because there's just some magic between those four people, you know, Geezer and Tony yeah. have been together since day one, but yeah. Ronnie's vocals and, and Vinny's drumming and Vinny and Geezer play together very well, which we've talked about that too. Yeah. So. Geezer, Geezer so. Butler for, 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 again, is one of the most recognizable bass players when you, uh, to me, because he, his, his style was a little bit, uh, uh, rougher than Steve Harris for my, who, who I would, I would listen note for note to what Steve Harris would play. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, uh, Geezer had that kind of gallop thing going too, but he mm-hmm. had that much more distorted tone because again, they're a smaller band. They're, 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 yeah. you know, and Iron Maiden are filling up so much more, but the, you know, you know, so I, I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of Ronnie Dio coming in after the, after the Aussie years. And I, I wasn't crazy about Aussie's voice, but I liked the lyric content better than when they started getting into heaven and hell and mob rules and spinning cages and, you know, stuff like that. My, uh, a friend of mine, Barry Dunphy, 
uh, Dominic Walsh and Neil Martin, and we used to just sit around and just just write our own Dio lyrics, mm. and it was just. I never, I, I honestly didn't know what Dungeon and Dragons were until well, I was, I was late, late in my thirties. Well, he, and he really went that way when he formed Dio. Cause he yes. could basically, okay, I'm in charge of my band. Now. Yes. I'm going to write a whole record about dragons. Yeah. And, and I saw so that I tour. I, I did too. With the, the Sacred Heart tour with the big fucking oh, no, dragon. I, no, sorry. I'm, 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 I'm a holy diver, but at the same time yeah. we saw the. I missed the holy diver tour, but I saw the last in line and the last in line Sacred Heart and the Dream Evil tour, you know? Yeah. And so, you know, very theatrical, very. You know, very big. And, and the thing about that Dehumanizer record, which I need to get you guys a copy of that, which is the Black Sabbath record they made in 91 or 92 with Vinny and Dio again. It's uh, Tony, I guess, in the liner notes, Tony said, yeah, we need to get Ronnie away from writing about dragons for a minute. Because <laughs> that was his whole career in the 80s, basically writing about that kind of shit. Um, and it's actually about, uh, I mentioned this before last time, about, about computers, and about yeah. how technology is oh, taking really? over and stuff like that. So, oh. And that was in 92, before yeah. the internet even showed up. So they were like, yeah. even back then, they were just like, people were all on PCs and computers and stuff like that, so yeah. they, they knew what was happening. So it's a good record. It's a heavy record. It's got some some really interesting arrangements and some great playing on it. Yeah. The only thing about that record I don't like, it was it was recorded digitally. Yeah, so the the drums sound a little bit kind of brittle yeah. to my ears. The cymbals don't ring quite as much, and standard sounds kind of boxy. But I other than that, it's a great record. Early '90s was a little bit too soon for digital to really. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. first digital record I bought was Todd Rundgren's um, uh, Second Wind record, and it's warm enough that it, you don't notice it. But everything that came after that really kind of brittle sounding. Yeah. yeah, just enough to be like Ugh, not as warm sounding. That's kind of cool. So yeah. if, if 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 you guys had to pick one band that transitioned really well to the next singer. I mean, I always go to, to, to Brian Johnson from ACDC. I was about to say, just, yeah. just, just because that's probably, probably the biggest. That black and that back in black record, when that came out, it just fucking I mean, steamrolled yeah. over How can everything. How you argue with that? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, that, that was one of the ones that worked. Another one that worked for me was, I, I, I was, I was a Charlie Benanti and uh, Bernante, whatever, Benanti, a Charlie Benanti and Frank Bello fan from Anthrax. I just thought that was an incredible rhythm section, but I hated Scott Ian's and Dan Spitz's guitar tones. It was uh, the the guy that owns uh, owned Diamond Guitars and Amps, Jeff Diamond. He would call it. I'm sure other people call it mosquito tone, as well as it's and, a little too uh, tinny, thin, sounding, and, thin yeah, sounding, real thin, yeah. and it really is. It, it's it's awful. To, it's awful to hear. However, riffs were good, and but the rhythm section. And then when they went to uh, Bush, uh, uh, God, I can't think of his name, uh, Mr. Bush on vocals, and they replaced Joey, Joey Belladonna on vocals, that's when Anthrax was, oh, okay, okay, I like this now, this is getting, you know, and they, I think Dan Spitz left as well, and they had a, um, uh, but that rhythm section to me was, that was that was one of the ones that, that worked, but then they went back to Frank Bellow. I was like, yeah. right, forget it. Yeah. My, my, my kids like Anthrax, and they they'd listen to it, and I go, just just go go to the guitar solo, just get it. Yeah. Put your headphones on. Yeah, <laughs> You're the the the, the yeah. <laughs> anyway. So I I wasn't a, you know. Yeah, I'd yeah. probably say ACDC, maybe. Yeah. I mean, Les Evans was smart. They're like, okay, one guy died, we're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not try to get someone else to fill those shoes. Yeah, well, they they did with Jason. I mean, yeah. Jason Bonham played. It's fine. It's, yeah. it's fine. I saw I saw that mm. in Florida, and no, yeah, it's. I mean, whatever. again, I'm not a Led Zeppelin fan, so I wouldn't have liked anything. <laughs> I wouldn't have liked it. I, I I really don't like Led Zeppelin. I just and it's a mixture of the Robert Plant, and then it's the Jimmy Page kind of rough. One band I never really. I mean, even as a drummer, we're supposed to we're supposed to study yeah. every famous drummer that ever lived, apparently. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's there's very few Led Zeppelin songs I enjoy. And like I said before, I like the song, I like the drummer, and there's very few Led Zeppelin songs that I like, and which means that, I mean, I mean it's not like I don't like John Bonham. I mean, he's great, but, yeah. dude, it's just, some of it's really rough. Yeah. How, in what way? What, what, is, what is about it that... that I think they that, just kind of, like, Robert Plant's voice doesn't really thrill me, and the songs are just like, what? It's a little bit of that elfin... Like Dungeons and Dragons things well, it's, going out it's with kind him of too. Some of that too, and it's also kind of like I the the songs that I like are not any of the hits. Like like 
if there's ever a, a one, if there's ever a Led Zeppelin song played on FM radio in the seventies or the eighties, hey, I'm not a fan. Yeah, yeah. not With a fan you. of it. Yeah, you might, as well, you. might as well be the Eagles. Right? It's all. <laughs> well, don't ever say that word in my house again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm with you on that. <laughs> but I mean, as you know, as, I mean, as far as drumming goes, I mean, John Bonham's obviously a part of part of the lexicon of, of sure. who you know my folks study. But and, uh, once yeah. you can do, you you kind of figure it out. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. You know, they're all talented guys. Yeah, and I I I think a lot of their stuff is amazing. But I've never. This is one of those bands that I've just never really had much interest in listening to. You know, my brother much. had all their records. Uh, he had all the Led Zeppelin records, all the Judas Priest records, and I would always pull out a Priest record before I pull yeah, out a Led yeah, Zeppelin record. I yeah, yeah. Yeah. Priest was a little bit that more. Was a, but that know, was another band. Ahead. That was another band that that uh, uh, Glenn Tipton, KK Downing. I wasn't crazy about their guitar tones. You know, they're just very, uh, you know, and I'm talking about, you know, you know. Uh, um, you know everything before Turbo Lover, but everything after that, forget it. But but the, their guitar tone is like, yeah, it's kind of yeah, not not great. Thin, but but again, it, they they had the thing, and people would would put again a big trouble for that. But I, there's no comparison between Maiden and Priest to me, just none. No, but they, and those guys were contemporaries of each other yes. too. I mean, they were that second wave of what they call the second wave of British metal. Yes, after you know Deep Purple, Led Zeppelin, and Sabbath were kind of set the okay. Here's how yeah. this, this shit's supposed to work. Yeah, and then it was Maiden, and it was Judas Priest, and Saxon, Saxon maybe a little yes. bit later after yes. that, you know. But they're all part of that same kind of like lineage of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. But again, definitely. We, right. Iron Maiden always go with Iron Maiden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just it, Judas it, Priest. I mean, that Unleashed in the East record is great. Yes, I love that record. And yeah. then after Screaming for Vengeance, I kind of lost uh, the fireworks. Lot of fireworks. Nice. Why not? <laughs> well, why not? Who gives a fuck? Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, oh, that was no, fast. No, no, that's no, somebody else. <clears throat> but you know, after Screaming for Vengeance, I lost interest yeah. like, right away. Yeah, yeah, I saw I saw Rob Halford play on the north side of town, probably the same club as I saw in Maiden when they didn't have. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a it was a toilet with a with a bar, but uh, <laughs> it might have been a Waffle House. <laughs> that's what they, uh, <laughs> they uh They uh, they uh, yeah, I saw Halford. And uh, very forgettable. Yeah. Very forgettable. It's one of those things where, so kind of like if you go see David Lee Roth do the Van Halen hits and he's got the three guitar players on, t- on stage, the bass player. It looks like they all just came out of the, the basement, you know, just, they've just done nothing but practice these songs. And he's just, uh, David Lee Roth, I, I, I mean, I just watch him read the phone book. Good enough for me, <laughs> but I don't want to see, I don't want to see. Yeah, Rob Halford sang with that, uh, with that version of Black Sabbath. Really, with, with uh, Tony and Geezer and Vinny, yeah. Oh, so they did that Dehumanizer record in '92 or whatever, and they went on tour as Black Sabbath. So Tony, Geezer, Ronnie James, and and Vinny, and then they got asked to do uh, the uh, Oz Ozfest that year to open up for Ozzy, and they were like, "Fuck it, yeah, let's do it. Why not?" And Ronnie James, he was like, "I'm not going to open up for Ozzy Osbourne. Fuck that guy," and he quit like the day before wow. the gig. And so they brought Rob, Rob Halford in to do wow. Black Sabbath songs with Tony Geezer and Vinny opening up for Ozzy on an Ozfest show. Whoa. Yeah, That's weird. Why did it's why somewhere did I, out there. It's, yeah. out, it's on YouTube somewhere. I see. Yeah, I'm going to look that up. Him, him singing show notes. fucking Black Sabbath songs. Crazy, yeah. you know, but... Yeah, uh, I get it. I, 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 can, I can see that. And I can, I can appreciate that. But it was just the... The, you know, of course, I always go to Turbo Lover because I hate that song. I just detest that song. They may as well have recorded a, an Eagles number or a, you know. Or Not a, a great song. Or a, no. Yeah. And, and, but that whole, that whole, you know, discovering the synth and the, you know, that, that airy, you know, that, that, that again, I, 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 let me pass on Led Zeppelin for a minute too, you know, but then, uh, 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 just these, these airy, no, you know, jazzy kind of off and, you know, just, you know, let's go find, let's go find a new plateau and, you know, we'll, we'll, you know, see yeah. and that, that stuff drives me crazy. And, 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 you know, yeah, you got to take a little break in the thing, but you don't take four minutes off in a song to go off and, you know, get areas of this is metal. We demand our, well, it's like, you know, we, uh, you know, Alan Hill is a good friend of ours and he's a really good buddy of mine. And, 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 and he's got some quirks and, We've done some road trips, like to gigs or whatever, and uh, 
sometimes we'll pull up, you know, okay, pull your phone out. It's time to play the YouTube, uh, oh, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he'll say, I want to me and Jim Henkel. He'll say, one of you guys find the longest version of days and confused live mm. and play it. <laughs> Fucking song is like 35 minutes long. And we will sit there just because, you know, to see who's got the you know intestinal fortitude, sit there and listen to 35 minutes of Days and confused. I've been in relationships that have been that long. Yeah. This yeah. is awful. It's, I don't recommend it for anyone. It's kind of fun to do if you're just fucking clowning around and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh my but God. I like, just, all, like all, all seven, sudden, you're like, okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah. I kind of wonder, is that the kind of music you just have to be stoned to really appreciate? I don't fucking know. I don't, I mean, I don't smoke weed. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, doesn't it have I'm, something I mean, to do with it? It, it <laughs> must have. I mean, I'm glad you said that because I, I, again, all this I'm thinking right now is, who do I kill? Who, 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 who has to get punished for this? Yeah. But I mean, that's a really good, it's like, wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. Up. yeah. Come on. Come on. yeah. I mean, cause I'm, I, I'm, I, I don't like to sit still. It's difficult for me to sit still. And remember, we're listening to this stuff on records. We're listening to this stuff on headphones yeah. because otherwise you'd be arrested for, you know, for the noise. Well, yeah. And the ironic thing is like, it's the Alan Oldies band. It's me and Jim and, and, and Alan, who are the Alan Oldies band. Again, that's, who that's are the king of me. what? Two and a half minute song. Yes. You know, all those oldies songs yeah. are two and a half, three minutes long. And here we are 35 fucking minutes. That's about, you know, if you're driving in a car in Texas, about 32, that's about too long. 40 miles Yeah, or yeah, less. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you have 32 miles. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the other way. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, it's like, Oh crap. We've, we're almost there. Yeah. We've heard the same fucking yeah. drivel. No, but obviously not that pot, pot and that just necessitates the other, because clearly, you know, Dylan and, 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 uh, well, Dylan writes long songs too, but <laughs> the Beatles, the Beatles were, were well into pot by the time they were doing rubber soul and they're still yeah. writing pop. So obviously it doesn't Im- immediately transform you into a jam band. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but there just seems to be that, that there's Hey Jude know. eight minutes long. Come it's on. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's the that's first step, true. but it's, Hey Jude is the gateway drug. But that's, yeah. that's all confused. hook. That's but like, then, but then, okay. there's no like a- a- aimless riffing in that song. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah but then, but then, but then, but then you go to somebody like Phil Anselmo from Pantera and then he went on to do down and then all their songs started disappearing into these, you know, voids of just soup, you know, just, uh, yeah. yeah. You know, again, great riffs and great, you know, that, that it's, it's, uh, my son pointed this, this out to me listening to goat whore and to uh, crowbar and, uh, you know, Phil Anselmo's different configurations and whatnot. But that, that, uh, I did not realize that new Orleans have their own sound. I mean, of course, jazz I'm talking about, but, but in this market, in this, Heavy, heavy, heavy. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. It, they've got a sound, hmm. and I, I've, I've just been, I've been floored because there's a lot of really good groove stuff in it, but I get lost in the weed in the. Uh. <laughs> no, we're here for. You know, we, we're, we're, I think that's that's why. I'm, so, so I get, I, I have a really hard time with these songs that kind of drift. And turn to smoke and evaporate, yeah. and then they yeah. come back for a minute, and then they're gone. And it's just, but yeah. you know, yeah. yeah, that's that's a prog. That's a, that's a trapping of prog rock. That yeah, you know, even Iron Maiden does that in a couple of their songs. But well, now that you ask, he's no, got they a point don't. there. Yeah, well, well I, I don't. I, I mean, Ride right of the Ancient Mariner. Yeah. I was about to say that. Yes, okay, yeah. Yeah. thirteen minutes. Oh, right. it's 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 rare for them though. Yeah, it is yeah. rare for them. But again, but it's almost like, your, your, it's almost <laughs> like cla- like it's almost like classical music though. I mean, classical music has a lot of like, okay, here's the intro. Yes, here's this theme. Here's the, the next hook. theme. We're gonna come back to that theme. Yes. And here's the theme. And that's right. kind of like what Rhyme with Ancient Mariner is. It's kind yes. of like yeah, yes. there's the themes and, that are and, built and together. Henry Rollins does a really good. Uh, he dogs that not that particular song, but he's dogging Iron Maiden for their historic perspective in metal. You know, you know, and he does the accent and he does the. Uh, he How just, else are you gonna learn history? Huh? How else are you gonna learn ancient history? Learn exactly. Go to your Iron Maiden record collection. You'll yeah. learn all you need to know about ancient yeah. history. <laughs> yeah, take <laughs> yes. the test. You get it. You're gonna ace it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Alexander the Great, another you know, 15 yeah. minute, 18 minute epic. <laughs> However, the you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> It's uh, it's like summing up the Mueller report in four pages. <laughs> you just yes. don't, you know you you're gonna tell a tale. Yeah, you gotta tell a tale. You can't you can't sure. leave out the you know you can't you know you t- tell the story again. Just can you know you don't you just don't you just don't go straight to the bar mitzvah. You know you you you, <laughs> really, you, you, you kind of gotta set it up and you know string it up. Anyway, so mm-hmm. rabbit hole. 
<laughs> rabbit hole for sure. But along these lines, um, what I mentioned before on the show that one of the things that 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 uh, clued or that got me into to, or give give me a purchase on <laughs> we can finish my sentence into Iron Maiden when you were first you know, check out this song, listen to this song and stuff. And I, I heard a Genesis influence, an early Genesis influence, and uh, particularly in the, in the instrumental Lost for Words. Do you know that one? It's mm. on a Power you, Slave. You, you don't to hear it. Yeah. And uh, it's not it's not there immediately. It comes because there's a bunch of different sections and it's it's all really groovy. And there's a couple of sections like, wow, that really sounds like Steve Hackett. And, you know, like reminds me of the early Genesis stuff. And then I go on to find out that Steve Harris was a huge fan of early Genesis. I was like, massive fan. So... And to me, if like if you go to what if you think about what Iron, what Iron Maiden is, and, and in a sense, what they where they took heavy metal is you a lot of those bands. Genesis, and I'm not a huge prog fan. I like early Genesis. That's really about it. Some King Crimson stuff, not much else because I get bored. But if there's a lot of a lot of the early Genesis stuff have, have a lot of really you can hear the prototypical metal and the stuff that they're playing. And really, but they would always fuck off into some other section. Like they'd hit this great riff and then they'd go, and they'd, they'd meander off. And I was just thinking of a perfect example of this. There's a song called Dancing with the Moonlit Night where they have this great riff that they come back to a couple of times. Like, doo, da, doo, da, doo, da, doo, da. And they, they, come, they finally come back around to it towards the end of the song. And then they just start messing around. It just gets ridiculous. And you're like, go back to the riff. That yeah. was so great. Yeah. I, I like and your version better. To yeah. me, yeah. To no me I, Steve Harris heard that. He's like, no, I'm going to keep playing. Do, da, do, da, da. And it's the stuff that he wrote. Cause he, that's what makes it so satisfying to me. Well, you have to think about also think about the, the, the timeline of all this shit that's going down. I mean, you have Sabbath and Zeppelin, and deep purple, 69, 70 or so. Here comes Genesis and that early Pink Floyd stuff, 60s, early 70s. And then, you know, ELP shows up and then Maiden shows up, you know, early 70s, kind of middle 70s or so. And they're all fucking British bands. So they're all listening to each other. Like, what's the newest thing out there? Check out this Genesis record. Okay. And then it's like, oh, let's start a band and we'll do this thing. We'll talk yeah. about, the, you know, the Ancient yeah. Mariner and all, yeah, all yeah, this yeah. Beowulf yeah. and all this shit. Yeah. Right. You know? Right. So yeah. I mean, all this shit was just, that that was what was in their ear. Mm -hmm. If they yeah. were into music, that's stuff they were listening to. They weren't listening to Petula Clark and fucking you know uh, Cliff Richards. They were Pace listening makers, to the yeah. the shit that you know yeah. was interesting to them. Even that probably that early Yes stuff, which is really difficult well, yeah, to listen he's to. A yes oh my well, god, I think Oof. I don't like them. Yeah, yeah, me neither. No, I'd, I've never been a Yes. When we saw Todd Rundgren a couple years ago, it was uh, Carl, the, uh, Carl Palmer doing the, uh, the Emerson Lincoln Palmer thing, Todd, and then yes, doing records from their first record to 81. Mm -hmm. And there's very few hits between their first record and 81 roundabout maybe. Yeah. You know, the, the chess song and stuff like that. So fans were hating it because they wanted to hear owner of a lonely heart and <laughs> all that shit, you know? Yeah. And they were just like, what is this fucking note music? And it's like, that's, that's what yes yeah. was. It was difficult yeah. listening hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. To me, I, for me, it's hard to, it's hard to, to put a finger on what it is. I keep moving off mic. I'm <laughs> getting distracted by the video shit. Uh, to me, the thing that really made, that really made, <laughs> I, turn <them> off. <laughs> Camera one, please cut uh, yeah. your feed. <laughs> uh, to, to me, I, I started losing some of the, gen the stuff that Genesis did after, you know, and Phil Collins took over on vocals, obviously. What? This that's another example of man. They one thing I will give them credit for is they kind of just let the they let themselves go off in a different direction. They didn't try. They didn't spend. They didn't waste a whole lot of time trying to recreate what they had with with Peter Gabriel when he was there. No, they want to get paid. He left. Yeah, I mean, they, they, after all those fucking years, they eventually years, completely yeah. metamorphosized into a, the a Abacab band. era. Yeah. yeah, right. So, um. Oh God, now I've totally lost my train of thought. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. No, yeah, the, he's high. <laughs> to me, what makes the early Genesis stuff great is Peter Peter Gabriel's approach to it. He had a really strange singing voice, a really kind of soulful but weird kind of thing that really nobody could could duplicate. Sure. So if you go from that, and his lyrics were great too. Um, he wasn't the only lyricist in the band, but their lyrics were generally there was a little bit of the hippie or whatever kind of hippie, the kind of fanciful uh, fantasy type stuff that was in a lot of prog at the time. But it was there was really especially when Peter was writing, writing the lyrics, there was a really strange strange slant to it. And, but if you go to the lyrics that whoever was writing the lyrics and yes, I don't even know if it was John Anderson or whoever it was, but the lyrics are, are terrible. Yeah. <laughs> they sound like a bad cut up poem, like in and around the lake 
rockets fall out of the sky, they stand there. What the it's hell deep. are you talking about? Exactly. <laughs> Stuff like that. I'm like, what the that, fuck but, is this but, supposed but, to mean? But that well, it's like, it's like that, that it, it, yeah, you call it prog. It's also, yeah. it's also called art rock. Yeah. Yes. Where they're trying to be artsy and, 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 I, and yeah, maybe singing about more surrealistic things or more like, uh, uh, impressionistic things and not really sure, singing sure. about anything. Imp- but, but in Peter's, I mean, to be fair, Peter's, Peter's lyrics in Genesis were very, very strange, but they were, at least you could tell there was a story behind what was going on. And there was a thread that you could follow most of the time, especially with things like lamb. Lamb is a very weird story, but there is a narrative that goes through it and, and yeah. you, you can keep up with it. Even if you don't understand <laughs> what the overall message is, right. Mm. There's enough there that you can kind of get a sense of what he's singing, especially the way Peter, Peter was a very emotive singer. So as even if you don't understand what he's singing, you're kind of there with him emotively because he, he emotes. He's, he's a great performer in that way. Yeah. But John Anderson, I don't know. He just always kind of sounds the same to me. So I'm really ragging on yes right now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Very yes fans. Well, if you I'd, say yes, I say no. Yeah. I don't know. Yes. It's, just, it's just not my thing. And that's, I yes, find I that agree. with most other prog rock bands, I just, like, uh, there's just not enough there to, to keep me invested. Because that's a lot to invest in. That well, I went to see uh, Jethro Tull with a good friend of ours, ours. I saw Tull back in the 80s, yeah. Yeah, well, I saw it recently. A friend of mine, John, a oh. friend of ours. John Young, hey, I got a ticket. You want to go? Yeah, I'll go. I wanted to go hang out with him. And oh, that's a sign of a friend. I was bored. <laughs> I was bored. Great guitar player. Yeah. And I'm not a fan of the flute. Ben. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Well, hey, 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 clean hey, it up. Clean John, it up. I, I, John I, is a big prog fan. I mean, that's, that's his, oh, that's his yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, yeah. No, totally, I, I knew that. And I, I, I knew some of their stuff. I knew some of the, the same. Well, yeah. That's tough. And just to know that you're not the, uh, you, you're, you're, uh, your, uh, you know, your parents and that age group, they don't, they don't listen either. <laughs> There's a, you know, no cameras, no thing. As soon as they go out, everybody's, you know, they're all the video cameras, the iPads, everything's, I said, you're never going to watch this again. You're bored now. Yeah, really. Turn it off. Why? Anyway, so I went to see that. I was just, uh, that's was a like, whole other topic for yeah, another I was, conversation yeah. about that. Yeah. Jeff Lutal? Filming stuff. No, filming yeah. concerts and shows. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we, 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 we definitely, we, we've gone rabbit holes. Yeah. I think we need to make 60 uh, a thing of the past. Let's put that plane fly overhead. Where's he going this time of night? Who they're, knows? They're, they're actually, they're checking to make sure there's only three of us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Roger that, good buddy. <laughs> yeah, piss off. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to say briefly, Jeff Witchell is an example. That's an example band that I, I can only, there's only certain parts of their, certain, certain albums of theirs that I like to listen to. Yeah. Because they, they started off kind of more like a rock band and then they went way prog like very quickly. Yeah, I mean, I mean the thick, of a, thick as a Brick record is one song. Yeah. That's two sides. Right. And I, I know mean, a lot of people, I, I can only listen to the first three minutes. Yeah, that's, that's the best part. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I bet a, uh, to me, my, my favorite record of theirs is still Benefit, which is the one that has Teacher on it. And um, yeah, that's a good song. Those are that whole album is great. But and I I really I, I love Martin Barr, the, the guitar player in that mm-hmm. band. I think he's fantastic. And he's on tour now doing his own Ian thing. Anderson's great. What's that? He's on tour doing his own thing. Martin I think Barr is. I think he's playing Jethro Tull songs oh, no but with his own band. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But there were there was definitely a really really unique flavor between him and, and Ian. Ian. The, the stuff that they wrote together yeah. was really, really unique. So I do, yeah. I do dig that. The early tall stuff I like, but um, yeah, flute. I, they started losing me after all. That's, yeah, that's, that's the power of the seventies. The seventies was kind of like the last decade where anything goes. Yeah. yeah. What do you got? A flute player? You're signed. Right. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 Well, if you can play flute like him, I mean, there's, if you're going to play flute in a rock band, I guess well, that's yeah, the way to, to play, do You it. have to play it like that. Yeah. You can't be playing right. like classical right. shit. So. Yeah. 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 Or proper scales tone, or, proper tone or, and technique. Yeah, or and, scales or filler. You you need to have your you need to have your must stand on one leg when you play it too. Oh, of course. Rock dude, come on. Yeah. I saw them. They were great. They were fun. Yeah. They were they were just weird. Yeah, it's, just, it's just just in this day and age, seeing something like that. <laughs> you know. And then and then and then it was over. And then it was over. I couldn't get to the car after a while. Now. Yes. Yeah. So well, gents. Well, yes. That ladies was a long and, one. Ladies and gentlemen, that was, thank you. Well, we haven't yeah. seen each other for a while. Yes. So we're used to seeing each other all the time, and now we don't see each other. So yeah. we talk about, we had a bag on yes. I mean, come on. Yeah. That should be, that should be a, a, a weekly thing. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And here's your bag have? on yes, five minutes. And another thing about those <laughs> <Yeah>. motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, yeah, it was this fun. Is, this has been fun quarantining with you. Mm-hmm. Fun playing with these new toys. Oh, I have a picture with their keyboard player if I want to send it to you. Do it. Rick Wakeman? No, the other one. Uh, 
The guy was in the Buggles. Oh, the Buggles? Um, Jeff oh. Downs. Oh, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> you call yourself a Yes fan. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Wakeman is cool. He's cool. I'm dude. sure he's fine. Yeah. I never met him. He played with yeah. Dave Bowie. That's all I know. Jeff Downs was kind of the uh, 80s kind Did of guy. Did he replace Rick yeah. later? Is that yeah. what happened? Okay. Yeah. I just I, know I, Rick- I, th- I think he's in, I think he's in the John Anderson version of Yes these days. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, so there's two Yeses, right? I have no idea. I there's couldn't two, care. I couldn't care yeah, for either. Yeah. yeah. Rick, there's Rick the Steve Howe version, and there's the John Anderson version. Oh, okay, okay. Rick played on on uh, Bowie's Hunky Dory records. So he played on uh, Life on Mars, all that stuff. That, that was Fair his band work in that record. So just when you thought we were Rick. signing off, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. But hey, sorry. Hey, is there one more thing? <laughs> Is <laughs> what? Yeah, rabbit hole number five. But yeah, it's been yes. a joy. It's been a joy. Thank you for your uh, again of for the for the and thank Leslie too for the and, and Ringo and Ringo yeah for the wonderful thank wonderful uh, accommodation, Chad. Thank couch. you for your hard work putting this stuff together. Appreciate it, Chad. And uh, yeah. now we're yeah. just going to leave it to our roadies to uh, yeah clean it up. I can just leave this here, right? Yeah. So, is that cool? Just leave it. Pack yeah. up the yeah. fudge. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe title. Sure, it's <laughs> <laughs> I had I had the Patreon people vote on the title this week, but I don't know. I think that might. I don't know. I think there's no argument. I'm glad that I, like a lot of my titles actually show up. A lot of the shit that I say actually shows up as a title. I'm like, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll take my ten percent in the mail, please. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> there was no contest on the last one, by the way. It was overwhelming. It was too good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, people. Oh, by the way. Please join us, uh, follow us on here. And this is going to be on YouTube, this video, as long as all goes well. You, you'll you be watching this on YouTube. So please share this it, yeah. horrible looking video around and please subscribe to it and try to get other people on. Yeah, yeah. if you can't, yeah, I was just going to say, just as if, if you can subscribe to us on, uh, I hate even saying that, but if you can, if you can just subscribe to us on uh, on YouTube, we're, 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 we're only, you know, 50 50, 60 people away from being able to do this yeah. live and, you know, yeah. we've been working. The numbers have steady been climbing, but we just need a yeah. few more of you on here so we can do this live. And and this, this simple thing, subscribing to us on YouTube and watching our stuff there is something that you can anybody can do no matter how broke you are, assuming you still have an internet connection, right? But, uh, uh, <laughs> But yeah, because what we, is that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you have people tipping us and saying, I, I can't afford to give much more. It's like, well, don't give in. You don't have to tip us if you're broke. Please don't. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you can come subscribe to us on, on, on YouTube and you will be helping us by doing that. So that's, uh, yes, really, we really appreciate yeah, it. We yeah, we appreciate that. We appreciate you listening and thank you for all your uh, wonderful comments and uh, notes and everything. We just, we, we just can't wait to get back there and see you in person and uh, deliver some of this, uh, some of this, some of this, uh, prog. Uh, covers that we'll be doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Progtology. Oh, progtology. That's another that might be a good title right there. No, yeah. no. Progtology. No, no yeah. progtology. That's Progtology uh, 101. That's my new uh, Pornhub uh, yeah. handle. <laughs> so, okay. But yeah, thanks for, uh, thanks for, thanks for letting us into your home. Yes, nice thanks. Place. And we'll hopefully do this again. Hopefully it won't take me quite as long to set this up, up, stuff up next time. I know. A couple of birthdays. These guys were very patient with me. I appreciate that. No worries. All right. All right, y'all. I'll see you next week. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>